What is up, legends? It's your boy Sion. We're back with some PGR. All right, so we're going to talk about Alpha um, and the fun in using her, her strengths, her weaknesses, because she does have weaknesses. And uh, I think a lot of people kind of don't know that she has weaknesses. And we're going to we're going to break it down for you guys. And you're going to be like, Sion, you don't got Alpha. I don't. However, in the Muso mode, which is also deep dive, you get to use Alpha. So we're going to go into here because this mode is awesome. As you can see, there she is right there. And we're going to talk about her. Now, Alpha is a glass cannon. Please be aware that you're going to be doing deeps. But if you start to get hit and don't have the resources, which this game will do to you. In fact, in this particular stage right here, they put her against enemies that are kind of like her natural counter who are super annoying. So first off, we're going to talk about what Alpha actually is. Alpha is actually an M1 character. And what that basically is, she's going to spam mouse one a lot. So she has her normal base attack, which does this into that. Now that last hit right there is super armor and it will get your ass killed. I'm just going to let you point, out, you're going to point that out right there because she will do this. Hold on. Cause like I said, these are her natural counters. They like stop everything. See, I, I didn't, I'm not even getting to the last hit because they keep knocking it out. It's just what they do. They're annoying. That right there will, they will knock you. Um, I mean, will get you killed because it's super armor and she's going to take the hit and keep moving. And when you're doing that, sometimes you can't tell in the first two frames of that, you can't dodge out of it. She has to do the first two frames of it before you can get out of that, which is super annoying. Now, her first skill, which is the red ping, that does that swag also gets you hit. So be aware of that because you are not invincible during that. And remember, she is a glass cannon. All right, so her next skill um, that we're gonna talk about is actually her sword stance. Can you guys stop? Calm down, we're, we're doing a tutorial here. Her sword stance. Now, in order to actually go into the sword stance, you need three blue, um, three blue pings, and then another three ping after that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, bam and bam, and we're in sword stance, which she pretty much is gonna spam out. Again, you are not invincible during that, so don't think that you're a super badass. Don't think that you're Virgil from DMC. They are going to kill you if you don't move. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. And I see a lot of misconception where people think that she's just like the most OP thing in the game. And she actually is very good burst DPS in the game um, for enemies that are freaking stupid. Basically, that's going to stand there. Against stuff like this, they're not going to stand there and let you do that, as you can see. Um, so just keep that in mind that she's going to swag out and do a whole bunch of DPS and, and be... Stop that. And do a whole bunch of DPS and be cool but you still are going to need to move and be able to on um, the dps and build her properly um building her as a glass cannon cool you're gonna do more dps but if you don't get any type of real memories on her and some good balance hp type of feels she's gonna die real quick and you're gonna be sad that you probably spent like 500 dollars trying to get her to sss and she died like in two seconds so just keep that in mind that you still gotta you know play the game properly um, people say DPS and dodging is what makes this game work. I don't think that is the case. I think actually learning the proper way to play this game and understanding that this game is basically about balance over DPS will get you far in the game. Um, you can swag out and do a lot of DPS, but dead DPS doesn't do DPS. Just keep that in mind. You ever notice that um, people say a certain thing on um, on social media when people say, um, I watched a YouTuber and he gave me a build and whatever, and people always say lol, like, oh, a YouTube build. Like, it's always a meme. The reason why it's a meme is because YouTubers always go for the most um, meta thing to actually say that people are going to want to see as far as getting views on the video, but that's not practical in the real world. <laughs> that's not practical in gaming. In gaming, um, companies build games based off of balance. And I'm telling you as a dev myself that companies build games based off of balance. And if you build um, your game based off of DPS, nobody's going to play the game because everybody's going to die in two seconds and there's not going to be any type of balance. So just keep that in mind um, when you use this character. So the next thing up is we're actually going to talk about what this skill basically does. 
makes you faster and rock out so for what me personally what I do with alpha is I take advantage of her speed more so over her stances and I animation cancel her um, her normal so when you animation cancel her normal you get more burst so you see this if they actually let me cancel out of that these guys are annoying but you're, you're literally seeing what happens to her see that burst I'm doing right there one two three and I'm actually stuck on them right now they're annoying all right so we're gonna let them do whatever but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a one two three and get her into her um kind of like her slash stance that she does when she does like the AOE and then cancel it don't allow the super armor hit to happen because the super armor hit is really bad get out of it All right. You guys really suck. You know that. And I'm glad that they actually made this so you can I can actually show what happens to her. This is what happens in the game when you don't have a fight that's favored towards her because I see a lot of people showing her like, "Oh, look, she's badass," but they're not showing the real. The real right, this right here is what happens to Alpha in a fight where they're not freaking dumb. <laughs> like, like, dude, like, dude, like, people keep showing fights of like the parry fights and everything else where the enemies just stand there and let Alpha go ham and stuff like that. This game don't work like that. The reality is that the game is going to counter her, and you need to actually swag out and start acting like this. You see how differently this is working out when I'm actually using player skill towards it and not actually spamming. This is the reality alpha and how you, how you actually have to use her. Alright, so we're going to go into sword stance when I don't get hit by that. <laughs> oh, the time is up. Alright, so we'll do it again. I wanted to be 100 with people and show people the reality of what happened and not show you, you know, theme fights and disillusion people and thinking that they're just going to run around and just slash through everything. That's not how this game works. That's how the game works against um, enemies that are just AI dumb and stuff like that and um, so on and so forth. Now, what I suggest you do with her is take advantage of her burst and her skills like this. Take, take full advantage of 3 ping. And she's a, a pretty much, she's gonna be a lag fest because she just does so much crap. Hang on your blue pings, not use them until you need them because that's how you go into sword stance. That thing is gonna blow up. Make it so that you always have your three ping ready. Try to get to it and you see now I'm not gonna be able to get to it. So you go into plan B and just start going out going ham this way because you don't have any blue pings all right so now we have the blue ping for the sword stance damn it knock me out of it Now, I'm actually doing it without actually explaining it. Alright, so another thing I'm going to show you guys. Her special is very situational. It's very good and a cone in front of her. However, watch this. If they... I'm going to do it now. See him behind me? She did not hit him. He just chilled. Those two behind me did not get hit. 
she can only hit in the cone in front of her. So you wouldn't think to her left eye into her right eye. And everything in the middle, she's going to hit. Anything behind her, she's not going to hit. So that's bad, <laughs> in a sense. But very good if you can line up everything. So you just have to use a little bit of skill. It's not a set and forget like some specials. Which is one of the reasons why I like Luna better. Because she's a 360 character. And she's just going to hit every freaking thing around her. Including if anything is behind her. They get sucked in front of her into the cone. Which is amazing. Which I don't understand why they didn't do that for Alpha. But Alpha special doesn't do that. It doesn't suck anybody in front. Or if they're on the right. on their, or If they're on the right and the left. It doesn't it doesn't hit them. Like she, they'll be sitting there looking at her like like touching her elbow and like, hey, like, nice cool special, cool special, but you didn't hit me. That's pretty much what happens. All right, so let's just reset this again. So you just you will not do it. <laughs> like, and I don't understand why they did that because the way that she's slicing, you would think that it would hit off to the right and off to the left or behind her, but it doesn't. It just ignores that they're there. I don't know if that was, maybe they didn't intentionally do that, but it, it for sure doesn't hit them. Kind of sucks, to be honest with you. But if you can line them up properly, you're good to go. That's that's the gist of it. So, you saw the good, you saw the bad, and you saw the ugly, her special. Her special, I think, is the ugly. I, I, I think that kind of sucks, to be honest with you. Especially in stuff like Warzone, where you need to kill stuff. Like, you always are going to have to line people up. And that's, that's not very situation friendly it's not always going to work like that so how do you want to use her me personally she is a m1 spam use up her dodges and her burst if you can get her sword stance out like you don't really need it the swaggy and everything line them up Oh my god, I hate these dudes. And then I'm stuck in the corner with them. <laughs> Take advantage of her one. The fact that it has three animations at the end, you can actually cancel and start doing your normal spam. So when you do this, you see that right there? It was still hitting them and now I was already starting the spam. I'm not too sure if it's supposed to do that either, but it's a thing. They're lined up. Look at him chilling. Look at him chilling behind me. Like, cool special. <laughs> this special is bad. It looks cool, but it's actually bad. As, um, situationally. That's what I said. I think um, some people are uh, kind of disillusioned a little bit. Like looking wise, she she looks the best in the game, hands down. She just she swag, she looks cool, she works amazing. But she has some definite weaknesses. Like she's the squishiest character in the game. Her special sucks ass, in my opinion. It just looks cool. know it and her QTE is a little weird too let's wait for her thing to come up um let's do this um I need her red QTE all right let's use these there it is ah uh, that's not cool either <laughs> that's, that's not good either she pretty much slashes down and then hits forward. That's very situational too. And it misses a whole hell of a lot. Just to let you guys know. So, in my opinion, her special and her QTE are trash. I just, I hate them. They did this, this Bianca, by the way, is like, swag. I love her. Uh, I, I want her. I just can never get her. It's like miles better than her A. I think her A is absolutely useless, in my opinion, but her, her S? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, please. G give me her S, please. That sounds bad, but... Alright, so, verdict. Um, 
I don't give her the top character in the game. I think Vera is better as um, an overall character. S Vera, though. I think S Vera and Luna are, be are better characters because all of their skills are more useful and they're not squishy characters on top of that, too. Vera, um, Vera and Luna, well, Vera is a tank, so she's not supposed to be squishy. But Vera's situational is better overall, except for her special. Vera's special is also a cone in front and doesn't hit behind, but everything else that she has, including her QTE, I think is better overall. And Luna hits every damn thing on the field and it says delete. So I don't know how the hell people are not. She is the best character in this game, period. Um, but with that said, I think Alpha is the third best right now. That's my opinion. You know, everybody has their opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I think Alpha third best, which is still third best in the game. And definitely worth summoning when she comes out. You know, it's the third best character in the game. The other two that I believe are best, are better than her, are not anytime soon. So, for right now, she's the best character in the game and you should get her. That's my opinion on all that. If you have the resources to wail out, wail out and get Alpha because she is worth it. And if you get to the point of really good with her that you can start swagging out, ow. Can you not? Sir, how long is this combo? I hate these dudes. It, and I think it's funny that they make you fight these particular guys because they directly counter her and show you all of her weaknesses. Which I think is the probably the reason because when you fight the rest of the, um, the Musa mode, they, they literally make you fight the character's weaknesses and say, all right, get good. Which is why I keep like doing this because it allows me to see and properly understand what I need to do to handle things with Alpha. Like you see, I reposition myself and put them in a cone in front of me. So yeah, you guys got the gist of it. I hope I gave you everything that you need to know about this character um they say that you were supposed to kind of use frederick i don't agree she's a mouse one if she's a mouse one character then she should use the same thing as live b a uh, lucia b rather we should be so you can get the um the most damage out i would give lucia b and the qte buff which i believe is darwin too I would do the um, normal damage buff since that, like you get so much burst from this, I would just take advantage of this. What am I hitting right now? What was that? He was right in front of me, I wasn't even hitting him. Reposition. Oh, she didn't turn around. And you see all of them behind me didn't get hit. That super's bad. <laughs> that super's really bad. Uh, but yeah. So I hope that Kuro sees this video and fix her super. Why is her super like that? Like, hello? Like, she literally draws slants and like, and she's swinging and hitting everything around. Why is everything behind and not getting hit? Hello? Anyway, Alpha. Third best in the game, in my opinion. Um, very good character, and she's definitely first best in the game and global right now. So, again, you can listen. You cannot listen to my opinion on Fora's um, whatever else. It kind of doesn't matter. She's still one of the best characters in the game. And um, how you build her, build her according to whatever resources that you have at the current time. Again, I think that she's a Condolina. I think that's more useful because you, you you get a lot you get probably majority of the damage that you're gonna get from her from her normal spam. So Condolina seems kind of like it would be better in my opinion for her than that. But you know I could be wrong. We can see some DPS numbers and go from there. Condolina and Darwin too might seem seems to be seems to be the move. Um, spe um weapons weapons is just really according to whatever you get. I'm going to try to get her because she's a direct buff over my Liv B. But if I don't get her, I'm not going to be tore up because she's 
literally just a better version of Live B, in my opinion. Live Live A. Okay, I keep saying Live. Lucia B. She's a better version of Lucia B. Uh, Lucia A works a little bit different. She's a different character. And the reason why you don't see me use Lucia A is because of her special. Her special, she spins around in the air and it literally takes six seconds for her to actually come down and actually be able to attack. So if you're in something like Warzone, that's trash. You owe six seconds to do nothing but increase damage. You didn't do anything. Like, I hate that. That's the reason why I don't use that character, because I hate her special. Her, that, She's another one that her special is dumb. Like, just allow her to, like, pose, like, or, and walk and do something. I don't think that she should do that freaking backflip in slow motion and you lose, like, six seconds of time to go and do, like, some increased lightning DPS. That's dumb as hell, in my opinion. And then on top of it, you have to go and reinitiate combat with somebody. And the enemies are sitting there looking at you like, wait, why, why is she in slow motion spinning? Like, what is happening right now? And they, they kind of do the same thing with uh, with um, with Alpha. They just kind of like looking at Alpha like, okay, cool. You just slashed everything in front of you, but I'm over here to the side and back of you saying hi. I'm just going to punch you in the face now. Like, I, I don't get it. Catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching another video by me, Scion Storm. If you like what you see here, please, by all means, like, subscribe, share with all your friends. It really helps me out. And I appreciate everybody who stops by. One love and be legendary. Peace.